Now at Forest Canyon Overlook where we have an elevation of 11,716 feet. I'm not going to bore you with any old earth details about millions of years of rocks and over a million years of glaciation. I'll just simply say that in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. In the distance we can see Mount Ida one more time. Pointed mountain off on the left there, it's centered a little bit. And right in the middle we have Teratoma Mountain. Nice little punch over there. What you got was probably carved out by glacier. forces that sculpted this area, like glaciers, you have to ask yourself the question, well, what happened to them? We still have remnants here in this place. patches of snow, and underneath those white patches of snow, we have some ice. If that's the case, that's really what we used to have here in this Ice Age. Glaciers have reduced in size and wasted away because of less precipitation, not because of the temperatures necessarily. Whether we have global warming or not isn't the issue. The issue is, is that we do have a potential climate. field in the shaded area of the mountain. Well, uh, whenever the sun shines on, on areas that have been dusted by rocks or dust of any sort, then snow or ice melts quicker and wastes a lot faster. So we have smaller snow fields, smaller ice fields, and fewer glaciers. Range the southeast towards Long's Peak and the mountains that make up that area. Again, the story is the same. Glaciation at one time, and now the glaciers are gone. So, what happened? Well, again, for, with a drier climate, the glaciers couldn't maintain themselves, and so as time goes by, they have slowly diminished in size and diminished in, in occurrence. I hope someday that we'll be able to visit and uh, discuss some of these things, either in a Bible study. I know that uh, some people are interested in that, others are not. But if you are, you may certainly get a hold of me at Westwatch457 at AOL.com. I'm available for a, what's called a Have Bible, Will Travel Bible Study at a time and place of your choosing in Metropolitan Phoenix or Metropolitan Denver. And uh, we will go through uh, concepts such as these how the, uh, how the planet was formed, how the planet was judged, how it was really perfect and judged because of man's sin. And now what we see today, very spectacular products of what God has done in judgment will also be changed in the future. The planet is judged one more time before Jesus returns. So we uh, go to our next clip. I uh, just uh, ask you to be in prayer about the very real possibility of having a Bible study and discussing the importance of what God has done throughout the history of this planet. It could be very interesting and very enjoyable. And with that, I close out this clip by saying my usual... Good date.